Well, uh, Satori, do you want to you want to take the take the spotlight here? Or yeah, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So this one goes out to the whole Minds Poetry Crew, Dead Spoken Word Society, and all my imaginary friends. I'm Satori motherfucking D, disembodied poetic digital shaman, damned for all eternity. Don't mind me, I'm just deciphering dark secrets of perception and sipping some moonlight mancha tea. I just sprinkled in a little stardust, swirled in some galaxies, and topped it off with distilled dreams. I'm just minding my own business until I saw there was an open mic tonight, and I thought I would just stop by and see what's happening. Then I saw what Russia Ways wrote, craft needs clothes, but truth loves to go naked. And I decided to let loose all the secret insane thoughts, the ideas that have been in my head for all eternity, that somehow never got down on the page. Then I smoked some moon rocks and began to hunt down the muse, put the pen to some paper. Now there's been something strange in the air. I could feel it everywhere. Really, no one knows anything. We all got lost in the mist, playing around in a haze of fake bliss, trying to outrun reality, only to bang our head against it, and then we are left with nothing. I've been stuck in the in-between. Life and death, death and life, reality and dreams, dreams and reality. With every last drop of existence that touches my tongue, every last inhale of death that touches my lungs, a lid of my soul burns away. Now remember, language is a virus from outer space, and these words have been stuck in my inner space for far too long. I have always been looking at lyricism as coding. I'm looking for an algorithm. I'm looking to streamline ideas to be expressed, to express them in a way that speaks directly to the core, the essence of something that we already know and feel that we're all connected to. Now I know right now is the time to purge all those broken feelings, those lost poems and forgotten dreams. Thoughts are thoughts and feelings can't be read, but what is said is said. I thought this before. Wait, wait, did I think it out loud? My tongue slipped, but who let it out? Let it be, let me be, let go of me. Nah, just let it all out. Okay, okay, I got all these ideas swirling around in my head, swimming in my consciousness. The trouble seas of the ocean of possibilities, fragmented of dreams causes glitches in reality. Half spoken truth caused broken hearts of yesteryear. Oh God, I think too much. I can't see outside my head. Disembodied poetics of perception, raw feed of reality, disinherited mind beyond time. Okay, okay, I often find myself high above the clouds, whereabouts unknown. I do nothing but waste space and drinking cosmic wine of time. Puff, puff, pass around, pass away the days. I woke up this morning with a bright idea. Maybe I can exist forever, right here, right now. You see, it's not the dream that is real, it's the dreaming. We float around life, trying to grasp onto the liquid possibilities of reality. Somehow it feels like we're it's slipping through our perception. Most of us give in to this dis-ease, but some of us struggle with it. Few of us dance with it. Now there's nothing to be won or to fought, to worry about or to give into. It's only to be experienced. Yes, I know this is a lot of nutty raving, but it has to be said sometimes. Okay, okay. I'm eating shrooms all the time. I don't know what's real or what's in my imagination. I woke up this morning with another idea that all life is a dream. But wait, I think I'm still stuck in it. No, I'm stuck in the in-between. It's all good. My whole life is a rhyme and a whisper. We have written a check of false reality, cashed in a payday loan of perception of a lesser version of the dream, a lesser version of beauty, a lesser version, version of actuality. You see, the thing itself is beyond our silly words, beyond our silly minds. It is in within the depths of our being, the direct experience of everything, the direct experience of the every win. Okay, okay. I do think it's time that that I, I pass the mic. I think it's a crime to let humanity whine about endlessly. But I will leave you with this. Maybe the point or the non-point of everything is that all of this is just one big cosmic giggle. 